<laughs> so, um, where do we start, Spurs? Uh, great start to mm. the season. Just, I'm worried now with the the lack of um, squad, if you like, Glenn. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought. You know, I was watching them play in the way they're playing, the confidence. You know, they can go toe to toe. Eleven players. You know, the eleven, the spine of the team. If they stayed fit, I'm thinking. Is that going to happen? No, it's not in the Premier League. You're going to get injuries, you're going to get suspensions. And that's what's happened. And that's where the test comes. Um, you know, and I, I don't think they've got the squad deep enough. Yeah. Whilst everyone was fit, yeah, I think they were going to go toe-to-toe. And I think, you know, it was about being positive. And just got them believing. That stadium's completely different than it was last year. It was a bit toxic last year at Tottenham yeah. near the end of the season. And... Um, Fans weren't looking forward to going. They were sort of going, but, you know, mm. sort of on behind their back type mm. of thing, which is never a case at Spurs. But this year, he's turned it around very quickly with the style of play and, and the start that they had it, they've had. But at the end of the day, it's uh, it was about the longevity of that, that those players staying fit. Well, and, and two performing. in particular, Glenn, for me, is yeah. Madison and Son. And I, I, Van, I, feel, Van I feel if... Uh, I feel mm. if they if they get long term injuries, mm. I, the, the, you know, hopefully Spurs can spend some money in January. But, but, but that's the good thing about Spurs, isn't it? And Spurs fans will say the same as like, you know what, our eleven, we can go toe to toe with anyone. Mm. So in January we can try and improve the squad, mm. then get rid of a couple. Maybe in the summer get rid of a couple and bring in more players. It might be next season they have a better chance of fighting yeah. for the top two, top. Um, top three. I, I think that's a good point, Gabby, because I don't, th- I don't feel that there's going to be millions and millions spent, you know, to go and go from a strong position or strongest position at the moment. Where they're going to be when the window opens, who knows? If you know, if the players don't come back at the moment, they've got you know too many injuries to key players. So where they're going to be when the window opens in the league? Let's wait and see. I'm hoping they're still going to be hovering up the top yeah. four, but uh, that's going to be a big test for them. It really is. But some of the football that they're playing. And the way they want to play, there. Are, I've got a, a few little suspicions. I was worried. I'm worried about uh, uh, when we went, you know, nine men playing the way that we were, and that's the what way. The Ange, high line. Yeah, that's what Ange wants to do. And then fine, but I know I've been in football long enough. You cannot get pressure on the ball if you've only got nine men on the pitch, and yeah. you sometimes it's horses for courses, isn't it? You have I, to I, change. I, I'm, I'm not being negative, but I'm thinking you're going to get caught. Yeah, you, you, you know. With the the, the, back, the guys at the back and the speed, absolutely. Oh, you know, I'll, against them, I'm thinking you're going to get caught. Chelsea are first I'll, on I'll the I was watching the game and I was mm. thinking, like, I wish I was on that pitch. You know, you, <laughs> Sterling and like some of the quicker players have just got, like ready, like they're about to do the hundred mm. meters, mm. like in that position. All right, play. All right, now I'll go. I know. Stay in my own half and then make the run. Yeah, Crazy. The most important thing at that stage, and I'm I'm hoping that Spurs are going to see it through, obviously. <laughs> but uh, I mean, I like Chelsea very much because yes. I spent three great years there. But I'm a Spurs man because uh, I was supporting yes. them when I was eight years. Of age, and I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, nah, like you, I'm thinking, nah, it's, it's, yeah, any team in the world, a youth team would have broken that down. Yeah. That's how I see it, anyway. But you know, if that it's positive, and just going, no, we're going on the front foot by doing that. He's thinking by doing that, putting your back four on the halfway line, I'm going to be able to get a bit of pressure. I'm going to have players forward, and and Son had a half a chance, didn't he, at the end? So, two one, yeah, to two, make two, it. Two, yeah. Yeah. So you know that that's that's his theory, and and it's very positive. But you know, I've been in football long enough to think they're going to break them down. As you say, it was just about timing, timing your run. It was funny yeah. as well, wasn't it? Pochettino was getting frustrated because Mudrick yeah. was running outside. Yeah. He was like, just stay in your own half. I know. <laughs> I, 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 I was I was asking the question: Have they changed the rules? Is, <laughs> yeah. Can you be onside now, offside from your own half? Yeah, yeah, the way Spurs uh, were playing, don't, I'm don't get me on VAR, please uh, not. Well. Glenn, um, just a quick one before we break. Um, Sterling, I, I don't think I've seen him play any better than he's playing at the moment. Can't make the squad. I don't well, understand it. Yeah, I mean, I was at the bridge. Uh, at the weekend what a game that was by the way that was a throwback that was a fabulous game of football it really was two like boxers really two going at each other slugging it out the game was stretched and to be fair Maurizio and and, and Chelsea went right we're going to go toe to toe with you we're going to take you on in your own in your own style in your own game and they nearly did it it was a fantastic game but um, yeah Sterling was excellent I mean he looked sharper than I've seen him for a long long time I'm not having a go trust me I'm not I, I, I hope Gareth goes on to win something I think the squad he's got they, they've got to be favourites to win the Euros and they should win it for me but I can't I just don't get it why he's not in the squad 
Mm, I don't know whether something's happened behind the scenes or whatever. That's probably something's happened. Because at the moment, as you say, there were, there's times when, when I think Sterling perhaps wasn't playing so well when he was put into the to, yes. the, to the squad. And he wasn't at his sharpest. But at the, at the moment, the last three or four games, I think um, since Richo's come in, I think he's really on his game. He looked as sharp. I mean, I, th- I don't know if it was up against his old mate. Walker and he, he looked at him in the eyes and thought, I'm going to take you out yes. today. I'm going to take you on. I'm he was going to on it, wasn't he? Yeah, he was on it. He was definitely on it mm. at the weekend. But not only that, Arsenal, he looked sharp, didn't he? And that, was, that performance from Chelsea, I mean, that's the standard that they've set themselves now. The players yeah. have given themselves a problem. You've got to play like that against every yeah, team that we play. Yes. You've got to be as sharp as that. You've got to be as hungry as that. You've got to be on the front foot, confident. And if they do that, they've proved that they are as good as anyone else in that league. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.